Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to replace this pull pin for your Dutton Lance and Swiveling Trailer Jacks. This is going to be the part that allows your jack to pull loose and swing up to the side whenever we're hooked up to our vehicle, giving ourselves more ground clearance whenever we're driving down the road. So as far as functionality goes, this is certainly an important part to the jack. And if it's broken, you're definitely going to want to fix it because it's going to keep it locked in place and secured. The installation and the replacement process is going to be pretty straightforward. And this piece comes with all the hardware you need. Let's check it out. I'll show you how to get it removed depending on how broken yours is. Yours might already be off, but if it's not, you can take some needle nose pliers and straighten out the arms on this cotter pin and get that pulled out. You will have to be kind of fighting against this spring right here, so it may help to get an extra set of hands on that or just work it off and rotate it out of the way like that. Now, once that's free, you can just take this pin and pull it straight out. Everything else should fall to the ground. Now, at this point, your jack is going to be just kind of moving freely on its own. So if you're at the proper height for it, you can kind of get your knee to hold it in place while we get everything else put back in. The new handle with the spring and then also our new washer. We want that on the back side, so we've got the bracket the spring, the washer, and you're gonna have to push this back and drop our new cotter pin in place to hold the spring under tension. You can see the hole right here where the cotter pin will drop through, so make sure you have it pushed back far enough. Now it may help to push on the cotter pin with some needle nose pliers or just see if you can tap them in if they seem like they're getting bound up. But basically you want them to be passing through to the other side. Just give them a bend to keep them in place and test for function. Everything is looking good right there. And one final thing is that your kit does come with this rubber cover. That's just an extra little touch that this one got as a bit of an upgrade that it didn't have before, and the installation is complete. And that'll do it for a look at and replacement of this Dutton Lanson pull pin for your easy swivel jacks. Thanks for watching.